Hi everyone, we be talking about the top 5 ways to save money on groceries. Whether you're a college student, a family of 4, or just someone looking to cut back on their monthly expenses, these tips will help you save big on your grocery bill. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Number 1. Plan your meals in advance. When it comes to grocery shopping, one of the most important things you can do is to plan your meals in advance. With a little bit of forethought and organization, you can save money and ensure that your family has nutritious, delicious meals to enjoy. Here's a closer look at why planning your meals in advance is a smart strategy for saving money on groceries. First and foremost, planning your meals in advance helps you avoid impulse purchases. When you don't have a plan for your meals, it's easy to wander aimlessly through a grocery store, picking up items that look good in the moment. But these impulse purchases can add up quickly and blow your grocery budget out of the water. When you plan your meals in advance, you have a clear idea of what you need to buy, so you can avoid making these impulse purchases and stick to your budget. Another key benefit of planning your meals in advance is that you can compare prices and take advantage of sales and discounts. For example, if you know that you're going to be making a stir-fry for dinner, you can check the ads for your local grocery stores to see which one has the best deal on vegetables. Or if you're making spaghetti, you can look for deals on pasta and sauce. By being proactive and checking prices in advance, you can make sure you're getting the best deals and saving as much money as possible on your groceries. Planning your meals in advance can also help reduce waste. When you buy groceries without a plan, it's easy to end up with items that go bad before you can use them. For example, you might buy a bunch of fresh herbs for a recipe, but then forget about them and find that they've wilted and spoiled by the time you're ready to use them. When you plan your meals in advance, you can make sure that you're only buying the items you need and using them before they go bad. Number two, use coupons. Using coupons is one of the most effective ways to save money on groceries. Coupons offer discounts on the products you already buy regularly, making it easy to reduce your grocery bill. To take advantage of these savings, here's what you need to know about using coupons. Where to find coupons? Coupons can be found in a variety of places, including the Sunday newspaper, magazines, online, and directly from the manufacturer's website. You can also sign up for email newsletters and follow your favorite brands on social media to receive exclusive coupons and promotions. Matching coupons with sales. To maximize your savings, it's important to match coupons with store sales. For example, if your favorite brand of cereal is on sale, use a coupon to get an even better deal. Check your local grocery store's weekly circular for sales and plan your grocery trip accordingly. Stacking coupons. Some stores allow you to use more than one coupon per item, a practice known as stacking. This means that you can use a manufacturer's coupon along with a store coupon for even more savings. Check your grocery store's coupon policy to see if it allows coupon stacking. Using digital coupons. More and more grocery stores are offering digital coupons that can be loaded directly onto your store loyalty card. This makes it easy to keep track of your coupons and redeem them at checkout. To find digital coupons, check the store's website or use a coupon app. Organizing your coupons. Keeping your coupons organized will make it easier to find the ones you need and take advantage of the savings. You can use a coupon binder, a coupon wallet, or an app to keep your coupons organized and accessible. Number three, buy in bulk. Buying in bulk can be a smart and effective way to save money on groceries, particularly for non-perishable items like toilet paper, paper towels, and canned goods. By purchasing these items in bulk, you can often get a lower price per unit and reduce the number of trips you need to make to the grocery store. However, it's important to be mindful when buying in bulk and to make sure you're not purchasing more than you can use before it expires. Food waste is a significant problem, and buying too much of a perishable item that ends up going bad can defeat the purpose of bulk buying and end up costing you more money in the long run. When buying in bulk, it's a good idea to think about your usage patterns and how quickly you'll be able to go through the items you're buying. For example, if you look for a lot of toilet paper, it may make sense to buy a large quantity in bulk to take advantage of the lower price per unit. On the other hand, if you only use a few cans of beans a month, it may not make sense to buy a large quantity of them at once. It's also important to consider storage space when buying in bulk. 
Make sure you have enough room to store the items you're purchasing and try to store bulk items in a cool, dry place to prevent spoilage. Number four, choose store brands. Choosing store brand or generic items is one of the most effective ways to save money on groceries. These products are often just as good as their brand name counterparts, but they come at a much lower cost. This is because store brands are produced and sold by the grocery stores themselves, so they don't have the added marketing and advertising expenses of name brand products. Many people have the perception that generic or store brand products are of lower quality, but this is not always the case. In fact, some generic products are made in the same factories as brand name products and are simply packaged differently. In these cases, the only difference between the brand name and generic products is the price. To get the most out of your grocery budget, try substituting store brand items for some of your usual purchases. For example, if you usually buy brand name cereal, try switching to the store brand version and see if you notice a difference in quality. Chances are you won't and you'll save money in the process. Another advantage of store brand products is that they often come in larger sizes or quantities than brand name products, so you can get more for your money. Additionally, many grocery stores run sales on their store brand products, so be on the lookout for these deals and stock up when you can. Number five, grow your own produce. Growing your own produce is a great way to save money on groceries while also ensuring that you have access to fresh, healthy food. Not only can you save money on the cost of produce, but you also have the opportunity to grow unique and heirloom varieties that may not be available at your local grocery store. Starting a garden doesn't have to be difficult or expensive. If you have a small outdoor space, such as a patio or balcony, you can easily start a container garden. This is a great option for those who live in apartments or have limited outdoor space. You can purchase small pots, soil, and seeds, and have a garden in no time. For those who have more outdoor space, you can create a raised garden bed or till a section of your yard for your garden. This type of garden will allow you to grow a wider variety of fruits and vegetables and potentially even save money on the cost of store-bought fertilizer and soil. One of the benefits of growing your own produce is that you have complete control over the growing process. You can choose to grow organic produce and avoid the use of harmful chemicals, giving you peace of mind that the food you're eating is healthy and safe. Gardening can also be a fun and relaxing thing to do, giving you a chance to get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Starting a small garden is a great way to save money on groceries while also providing you with fresh, healthy food. Whether you have a small balcony or a large yard, there are many options available for starting a garden and growing your own produce. So why not give it a try and enjoy the benefits of growing your own food? Thanks for watching. We hope these tips have helped you save money on your groceries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one. Until next time, take care and happy shopping.